Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about type aliases in TypeScript. So, a type alias is basically just a custom name that you give to a pre-existing data type. It's quite easy to use and it makes your code a lot more legible and easier to maintain. So let's see how this thing works. Up here, let's make a new variable called results. And this will be a result of one of my university courses. So we'll say result equals 85%. Okay. So here, this is actually, um, it's quite vague. And it's a bit hard to actually understand what the result actually means. What we can do is put a column here and say this is a number. We can annotate this type with a number data type. That's a bit better. But we can actually do more in terms of legibility using a type alias. So we can actually say that this result variable is of a custom type, which actually means a pre-existing type, if that makes sense. So down here, well up here, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna define a type alias. So I'm gonna say type and then mark equals number. So with this now this is saying, whenever I type out mark in the context of a data type, I actually mean a number. So, inside here, I can write out mark instead of number, and that works all well and good. And obviously here, this is a lot better. We know, okay, this is a result of type mark, so it might be a university grade percentage, right? Now, this type alias, will work also with a function, all right, that just say accepts a number as a parameter. So I want to type out function, and then we'll say, I don't know, um, print number. This function will accept a number as a data type, so n and then number, all right. It'll return nothing, we'll just say void down here. And it's gonna actually print out, or just console.log, um, that number. So now down here, I can actually just pass in our results because technically, even though it's a mark, it's actually deep down a number. So that works right there. Run this program real quick. Yes, okay, 85. Perfect. Now, this is an example with a number data type. What I'll do is I'll get rid of this actually real quickly. What we'll do is we'll actually um, define a new type alias and call this one grade. And that'll be a string. And this will be something like, I don't know, um, like fail, pass, um, credits, distinction, for example. All right, so this is a basically a string version of this. You have fail, pass, credit, distinction. Okay, so now putting in grade here, all right, we get an error. This must be of type um, string. It's a number, so we can change this to something like fail, for example. Oh. Fail. That works. However, what I want to do is actually say, okay, I want this result variable to be either a mark or a grade. You can do this using a type alias combined with a union type. So. I can actually do this. I'm going to say type and then results. So result will be a mark or grade. Result equals mark or grade. So now this data type or this type alias is going to be either a mark or grade. So now if I just put a result inside here, that is fine, right? A string. That is a grade, which is a string. That's fine. Can also do a number, 50, for example. That's also perfectly fine. So you can use union types with a type alias. And I think that's quite useful, you know, a good example of why you would use a type alias. Now, we can also use type aliases with um, generic types. So, for example, what I'll do is I'll define a type alias up here. And we'll call this one point. It'll take in a generic type called T, capital T. Now, within this 
right section here, I can use that generic type. So, I'm going to define a tuple here. A tuple of T and T. Alright? Actually, let's make this called pair. Let's just call it pair because that makes more sense. So, a pair will be a pair of two of the same data type. So, now I can use this type alias down here. Let's get rid of this. Let's define a new variable called point. Alright. Of type pair. Okay, but what generic type? A number. Alright. So a pair of numbers. Equal to, let's just say coordinate 10 and 5. There we are. So, type aliases. That's how to use them in TypeScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.